Hello YouTube. Today I will demonstrate how to make a 3.7 volt inverter. The inverter works with a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery or 18560 battery and is capable of recharging your mobile phone as well as running LED bulbs up to 15 watts. The inverter is easy to construct. Simply follow my directions carefully and you can make yours too. D8 Tetro Transistor three point seven volt lithium, lithium ion battery socket one kilo resistor small transformer that you can get from an old ATX power supply if you don't get this transformer you can use 12012 transformer which is easily available in the market and some wires you also need a switch and LED in the transformer these three pins are of the primary winding and I will use them as input this is the center pin of the winding and these are the two ends of the winding these four pins are of the secondary winding and in this project the pins with the most resistance will be used as output. So let's check the resistance of this pin. So, these two pins have the most resistance, so this will be used as output. This is the circuit diagram of the project. First, connect line 1 of the transformer to the base pin of the transistor through 1 kilo ohm resistor. Next, you have to connect line 2 of the transformer to the collector pin of the tra transistor. Then, connect the remaining neutral pin of the transformer to the positive terminal of the battery and connect the negative terminal of the battery to the emitter pin of the transistor and you will get the AC220 volt from the secondary coil ok let's make the connections this is the transformer I have soldered some wires in there to make the connection easier this is line 1 and this is line 2. This way is the neutral wire. Not this one. This one is not the neutral wire. If you are using 12012 transformer, then use the middle wire as neutral. 
and you must connect the neutral wire to the positive terminal of the battery. These two wires are for the AC220 volt output. Let's make the connections. I have made the connections. This is line 1 of the transformer and it is connected to the base pin of this transistor through 1 kilo ohm resistor. This is line 2 of the transformer which I have connected to the collector pin of the transistor directly. This is the neutral pin of the transformer and I will connect this to the positive terminal of the battery. The negative terminal of the battery should be connected to the emitter pin of this transistor. I made this casing for the inverter. Here we got a 3.7 volt lithium and battery like this. This is the positive wire of the battery and this is the negative wire of the battery. In the top, here's the socket, here's the switch, and here's the LED. If you see the connections, the anode or positive terminal of the LED is connected with the positive terminal of the battery through the switch and the cathode or the negative terminal of the LED will be connected to the negative terminal of the battery so let's make the connection as for the circuit diagram the negative terminal of the battery should be connected to the emitter pin of the transistor <coughs> let's solder it This is the negative wire of the LED and I will make it connect this to the negative wire of the battery. Yes. This is the neutral pin of the transformer and I will connect this to the positive terminal of the battery. Here are the connections. And these two wires of this transformer are AC220 volt output and I should connect these wires to this socket. Okay, I'm done with all the connections. Let's make it clear again. This is line 1 of the transformer and it is connected to the base pin of the transistor through 1 kilo ohm resistor. This is line 2 of the transformer and it is connected to the collector pin of the transistor. This is the neutral pin of the transformer and it is connected to the positive terminal of the battery through a switch. I have connected the LED in parallel. This is the anode of the LED or the positive terminal of the LED which I have connected to the positive terminal of the battery through this switch and this is the cathode of the LED or the negative terminal of the LED and I have connected this to the negative wire of the battery so when the switch is on the LED will glow these two yellow wires are for the AC output to 20 volt and it is connected with the socket so let's try it so it's the battery I'm fixing it So when you fix this, and I have to turn on this switch, you can see the LED is going right here.
Yeah, this thing right here. But when I turn off the switch, it turns off. Okay. So when this LED is on, the inverter is on. And you can see here. You can check this with the tester. It close wait. Let me turn off the lights. You can see this. It's going. So it's not safe to touch right now because it's 220 volts right here. You can see. But right here. <coughs> so the circuit construction is done. And now I will check this with different loads. Here's the inverter. I have glued the casing here and added a slide for the battery chamber like this. When I turn on the switch, the inverter is on. Let's test it now. 